Okay, welcome everyone to my redstone world. I am going to show off some of my redstone contraptions. Where do I start? I'll start with my most recent one, the wall run. I don't really want to call it a glitch, I think it's more of a feature. But you know that honey blocks aren't full blocks and you can slide down them. And if you slide down them with blocks underneath you, on a wall, well, you're not really down the wall. It's very dangerous. I learnt this fact from one of Mumbo Jumbo's videos. If you want to see him, link in the description, I guess. And imagine all the courses you could make out of this. A bit where you have to walk across the wall and parkour. This is getting a green for me. I like it. Yeah, green concrete. Okay, the next one, it's the open and close. See, when you flick this lever, that one's open and that one's closed. Other way round. Um, I'm giving this one a red. And I'm not going to do a full outline for all of them, I'm just going to do a, a three by one area. Now these aren't impressive redstone contraptions, but this is like the best trap, the best trap with a bed. Like, it's night time, so I can demonstrate it right now. Let's go to sleep in the bed, and then make it so you respawn in lava, and then they'll die there, and respawn back there, and keep on dying. And if you've got creative mode, you can encase it in bedrock, and it's the most annoying thing. Now this is a very good trap, but it's not a very good redstone contraption. Does that jump the list? I think yes, forget green, this is getting emerald blocks. Okay. Now, next up, it's pretty much just the same thing, but to go into a secret room. And then you can sleep in this bed to get out of that secret room again, I guess. I am... I'm giving it an amber. Reason being... It's just not the best hidden entrance out there. And... It's surely not impressive with redstone, so let's show one that is impressive with redstone. It's the glitch piston door. Now, for anybody playing in over 1.16, I hate to break it to you, but this might no longer work, because like the title suggests, it works using glitches. And they're probably going to fix it, Mojang. But see that? And then to get it working from the other side really tied my head up. I was trying to do some vertical redstone here and all sorts. And redstone torches and it was super complicated. But then I was like, what am I doing? I can just place a one button on the bottom and the dispenser with arrows going to press that button. So... And I mean, that works as well. Yeah. Now, that is... That's great. It's just great. Emerald blocks again. Now, 
I know it looks ugly with this piston here, but we need it here. If I take that piston out and press the button, only that side. <laughs> because, well, this is all explained in Mumbo's Jumbo's video of how t how redstone works. It's all explained in that video. So, yeah, like I already said, I'd put a link to Mumbo's Jumbo's channel on that thingy with the honey wool. So, yeah, just called How to Use Redstone. Oh, I like this one. The Target Bridge. Place in a target block, shoot it, repeat. That was embarrassing how many arrows it took just to hit an, an entire block. I mean, it's easy to hit a block. Yeah, so place it, shoot it, it activates. Now, just to break your dreams, you can't build an entire bridge over an ocean with this. Reason being, piston push limit. Piston can only push 12 lots at a time. See? Now it no longer works because it's got at least 12 blocks on it. So yeah, sorry but that won't work anytime soon. But what will work anytime soon? Oh wait, definitely emerald blocks. I love it. But what will work anytime soon is the non-glitch piston door just the piston door i mean you can pause and copy it but do you really need to it's really quite simple and if that isn't for you then how about the double piston extender very simple however at first of all i had it like that press the button you have to press it twice, not exactly the best thing in the world, and the observer detects updates through its face and spits a redstone pulse out of the red bit. So if I place that, it detects, and if I break it again, it detects, see? And this change can be anything, a lever being flicked, or in our case, a button being pressed. Let me show you, when I press the button, and right click on it, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it will activate the observer's pulse twice. Once for down, the second time for up. See? So if I place that in, it should do the same thing as it would happen if I would suppress this twice. Right? Not exactly right, I mean, it's kind of right. If you call that right, and I don't. Let me show you that again. Yeah, you know, that doesn't work. So, I set the timings way bigger. That worked somehow. It's getting a green. Not a lime, just a green. Next up are the stomping redstone feet.
They're okay. Not even a lime, though. Next up. How good a painting possibly in en be an entrance? Here's our secret code. Let me in, please, is the secret code. It uses honey and efficiency. Yeah. It's really just simple editing. And you don't... And I didn't make it so it has to be that code. Look, I can drop the button there. Still works. But some talented redster and maybe... Maybe you'd have to be a command wizard with the command blocks. Some talented people out there could make it so that it only opens if you drop in a specific item named a specific thing. Now the uh, what do I call it machine. Notice how they both go into the centre and then the left one goes and then the right one goes. Not even orange, it's getting yellow. But it's not the worst, it's still quite good. But it can't beat my worm vertices centipede race. To get to emerald blocks, this is getting diagonal emerald blocks. Now, as soon as I started recording, I wanted to show you this one. It's the most complex machine just to blow up one piece of TNT. I'm just saying that. That gives it three blocks of emeralds. In a staircase form. So, basically... When you place in the redstone dust here, since the daylight sensor is active and it's day, it will dispense out an armour stand, an activating a trip wire, dispensing out a button onto a pressure plate, dispensing out a cow onto a pressure plate, pushing up a redstone block, and activating the dropper to drop something into this hopper clock, causing the piston to go... And then the observer will detect that, make these both go, and the observer will detect that, causing this to shoot an arrow at the target, causing the TNT to explode. But it's boring when I say it. Now that was embarrassing in front of my loyal viewers. Let's try that. It's not the most reliable thing in the world. Honestly, the most satisfying part is all these arrows. Ew. 
that in your open brackets. Type is cow. Okay, how many now this it was a bit glitchy so um but can't we all agree that was amazing and we all know what it was supposed to do i mean look guys if it did land on the pressure plate Everything would have gone super smoothly. Except I didn't have items in the dropper. That was the embarrassing part. Yeah. I wish I hadn't done that now. See, it works that time. So imagine it happening with that, activating it. And that sadly brings me on to the Armistand Bouncing Machine. It's already getting green. See? Need I say more? It's just great. Next up is the rubbish bin. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into the mixes here. Rubbish bin. Say I don't want this leather on me. Or this beef. Or these buttons. Or that. Or this observer. Or maybe you want to let go of your netherite sword. Good spectator. So here's how it works. The chest has a hopper underneath it leading to a downward facing dropper. And of course, you can't put netherite items in here, they don't burn in lava. With a redstone clock forever dropping the things into lava so they burn. Unless they're netherite, because netherite things don't burn. Now here's the Demon Headmaster, and recently, well not very recently, it was last year I think, yeah it was last year, I watched the Demon Headmaster on TV by David Williams I think, I think it was by David Williams, about that head teacher who hypnotises people, so I went for the most iconic Spiral eyes using a brand new respawn anchor block. See? Do not right click on it though. The jump scare. Get ready to get a jump scare, in fact. Um, I'm just going to add something to make it more scary. Don't look. F oh, I guess my head is drawn. Good head is Okay, let's try this out. See, he jumped out of your closet. The noise made it worse. It's a 
a mix of all three. What else should I show you? Oh, the bouncer. Place a gravity item here. I like doing red sand. The, the gravity stair builder, really. What up, guys? I'm going to be here for some time placing in sand and seeing if it builds the staircase. Okay, it's been some time, it just looks like it's creating a rectangle at the moment, but I'll place in 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it looks like it does build a staircase. It involves very fast time, and I'm not a very fast timed guy. <sighs> well, I would have timed it correctly if it wasn't for where it got placed. That's getting red sand. An amber. A sort of amber. Oh, I want to show you this one. And I mean, I'm going to right now. So it works out because I'm going to show you. But the sheep counting machines help get you to sleep. And if you're lucky and the sheep gets launched into the right position, cooked mutton will drop on here. So you won't even have to cook, you'll just get food by flicking levers. I mean, some people have jobs of flicking levers and use it to get money and buy food. So why can't you get food for flicking levers in Minecraft? I mean, it makes total sense, really. Come on, drop next to me. Oh, don't you run off. But hey, at least it got me cooked mutton. Yeah. Next up, it's the sneezing nose machine. Oh, wait. Now, is that good? That's quite good. Now, nose sneezing machine. Drips is not. That is gross. And you don't want to show me gross things. Forget red, that's getting a redstone block. A red sand. And. But other than that, it's quite good. That one's. Yeah, that's quite good, except it's gross. What else haven't I showed you? Oh, I haven't showed you this one. I love this one. And forget three emerald blocks in a row. This is getting way more than three. It's getting so much I'm not bothering to count. Yes, yeah, so many I'm not bothering to count emerald blocks. Because... Let me place in my red sand. And it got that far. Yes, beat that record. In fact, I'm going to have three more goes to see if I can beat the record. Go on. Is the same. Go to. Is also the same. Is it just always going to be the same? Whoops. 
Es esta. And then I'm just going to be the same. Yep, it's always the same. Can an anvil beat it? And this is Cutting Edge Minecraft. I am just testing to see if I can beat it. It looks like. No. Okay, you can't get further than that. Good to know. Good to know. What have I not shown off in today's video? I might have shown off all my things in one video. Hmm. Let's see. Mm. I'm pretty sure I've shown you everything. Yeah, I've shown you everything. Well, I didn't expect that I'd shown you everything. But that wraps up today's video of my redstone world. And honestly, who doesn't like this one? I mean, if you hear someone saying, I've got a piston door made with glitches, you've got to check out their piston door made with glitches don't you so that's going to end it and i want it to be ended with me getting jumped up and down by this piston with a slime block so that is just about going to do it y'all i'll see you next time